The first of two timeline applications I'm going to show you is the application Time Toast. What you need to do to begin is to sign up for a free account. Choose a username. Please don't use both your first and last name. Enter an email and then agree to the terms of service and sign up. You're directed back to this page that lets you know you've signed up successfully. Be sure you've confirmed your account. Once you've confirmed your account, you can go ahead and sign in. Let's go ahead and click on your timelines. You can add a new timeline. You want to title your timeline. We're going to call this a Holocaust. Pick a category. Since there's no education, you want to go ahead and pick the one that best matches your category and click go. Okay, here you're in your new timeline. You can go ahead and add an event. You can see the red box around this, meaning this is a required field. You can pick a day and month and a year. You're able to insert a link, upload a picture, and then create an event. I go ahead and choose an image at this time. I can choose a picture. And it'll insert the image into my timeline. And I click Done. I can insert a link. And I put link text because that's what's going to show up with the hyperlink. And I click Create a Link. And then when I have everything the way I want it to be, I will click Create Event. And you can see that it added an event onto my timeline. Create another event. So I come down here and add an event. I pick the date. I can upload an image for my next item. And then I click Done, and it adds it over here. I can also insert a link if I want to. And I'm going to give it a title. And I create the link. And I've created two events now, both in 1933. And you can click on it and see what information is included in your timeline. If I wanted to, I could add a span of time instead of a specific date. And if I wanted to insert a link, I would add the address and I could add a title that will show up. If you don't add a title, then the hyperlink will show up in its place. And once I have the information the way I want it to, I'll create a time span. And if you look at the bottom, you can see the time span and it shows up right here. When I have the events that I want on there, or if I want to preview it, I can view the timeline. I can edit my timeline. And I can click on the link next to the instructions that say draft timeline can't be shared so that I can publish it because you cannot see a draft timeline, only one that is published, so be sure to publish it. It's now been published. I can go back and edit the timeline if I want to. You're not going to be sharing on social media, but I could embed it or share it with others. I can grab this link. I could embed it in another document. And creating a timeline in Time Toast is that simple. When you're done, be sure to sign out.